Our Moth Derby Clubhouse Gold, how does it compare to Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce and Derby Clubhouse Silver? Find out my two cents right now. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna do a little review today on Derby Clubhouse Gold by the house of our Moth. Now, people were suggesting that I review this one because I really like Derby Clubhouse Silver and I also really like Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce. And this isn't supposed to copy Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce, it's supposed to copy Mont Blanc Legend Intense, I think, but Mont Blanc Legend was created to copy Fierce, so it's kind of like, I, in my head, Fierce is kind of like the originator. So yeah, the original Derby Clubhouse Silver was supposed to copy Silver Mountain Water, which is a niche fragrance. A lot of our, our mobs will copy niche fragrances, but they're actually going after a designer fragrance with this one. That kind of turns some people off because, you know, designer fragrances aren't that much money, so if you're trying to get a copy of one for like half the price, it's not as appealing as getting like a $30 fragrance that's supposed to copy a extremely expensive niche fragrance. So I just want to put that out there. Some people are going to be turned off right away that it copies a designer. Um, I actually had a lot of people say that they really like this one or they're looking to get it. I think it's like somewhat of a new release as well. Right off the bat, it does have a clear fierce like vibe to it. Um, definitely. But to be honest, there's almost like this sickly sweetness that like deep down that kind of turns me off a little bit, but after doing a lot of testing, it's really only when you spray it and get really, really close up in the beginning of it, do you smell a little bit of that sickly sweetness. Um, actually, when it gets in the air, just a hint of it actually kind of smells good. But generally, that sickly sweetness definitely held me back. It makes me not want to wear it as much, considering that I do have Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce. Right off the bat, when I first smelled this, it reminded me of... La Lique Ma Force. Now, I think this is another fierce clone. A subscriber of mine sent it to me. Uh, it just has this, this similar sickly sweetness that I didn't like at all um, that is not in the original fierce that is in both of these. So when I, when I smelled this one, I was like, man, I have to spray this one side by side to see how close they are and if I like any ones a little bit more. I got to say that the La Lique um, has more of a fierce vibe to it. There's just something extra that's in the, the, the Lalique that it just smells closer to fierce, smells more authentic. Yes, there is some sickly sweetness in here, but it's not as much as something like our Mauve's Derby Clubhouse Gold. Now, I do want to say real quick, some are mobs, including Derby Clubhouse Silver here. They really do copy the fragrance really well, but there's almost like a real rough, um, aggressive part in the beginning when you spray it up close. It's just really kind of off-putting and not that pleasant. And then in, in the air, you don't smell it at all, and then it dries down and it smells great. This one, there's really no rough or aggressiveness or off-puttingness besides that sickly sweet note. But it doesn't smell off. It smells like that's what they were going for. To me, it comes off as sickly sweet, personally. Maybe you like it or wouldn't like it. This is supposed to copy Mont Blanc Legend Intense, so it's not really supposed to smell the closest to Fierce. I think they have a, a clone called Edition 1 by our moth, and that is supposed to copy Fierce, so I don't think they were trying to actually copy Fierce here. And I do like the La Ligue because it is closer to Fierce for me personally, but maybe you're somebody who wants more of like that Mont Blanc Legend Intense style feel. Maybe you'd want to go with this one. To be honest, guys, I, I wanted to wear this. The first day I wore it, you know, did a lot of testing. And once I smelled that sickly sweet note for a while, um, I just kind of, I had I had enough of it. I, I went to go respray on this one for the second or third time of the day. And I just gave up on it. I was like, you know, it's just not for me, to be honest. Like, I was just, I just would rather wear something else besides this. The sickly sweet note kind of got to me. But, um... Later on that day, I think it was like three or four hours later, I didn't wear any other fragrances. I went out and I got complimented on how good I smell. This one does smell pretty good and I did get a compliment after, uh, you know, I stopped spraying it, you know, for three or four hours. I, I mean, I didn't smell anything on me. I asked my friend with me. He said, ah, you don't smell like anything at all to me. Yet when I go inside and I go and order some food, um, somebody behind the counter totally knows it and they have enough to like compliment me on it and make this big old compliment. It's just kind of like, it's weird because sometimes you think you should be complimented and certain times and you don't. And sometimes... I would never expect to be complimented. I didn't spray anything. I forgot I smelled like anything and somebody's coming out and telling me, oh, you smell good. You know, it's just kind of like, kind of bizarre. But that kind of made me like this fragrance more because it's hard to get compliments. I gotta say that you don't just get them like every single day. And I think I wore this the day after just because of, um, 
just because it works so well and I did get a compliment with it. So anyways, guys, uh, you know, this is really up to you. I mean, if you like Fierce and stuff like that, you like Mont Blanc Legend, things like that, I would definitely check it out if you have the enough money, you wanna check something out. This isn't gonna be the best Fierce clone or like the most high quality. Um, again, I think it's supposed to copy more of Mont Blanc Legend intense with this one. But like I said, there's a sickly sweetness that comes off good in the air. Um, it lasts for a decent amount of time. It probably lasts longer than um, the Derby Clubhouse Silver, even though I really do like this one though because it copies that Silver Mountain Water DNA very good, a little bit more than La Adventure Blanche back there. But anyways, guys, that's been my review on it. I'm kind of on the fence with it. Um, it's interesting to having to spray this La Leak next to it and notice that there is more of a Fierce Vibe with it. If you're trying to get this for the Fierce Vibe, I would recommend La Leak in its place. It has more of an authentic woody vibe that Fierce has. I think this is a pretty solid fragrance. I'd probably give it like a 7.5 to an 8 for the smell. 7.5 to an 8 for longevity. Um, that compliment kind of really changed this fragrance to me because I probably would have just kind of passed on it. It doesn't smell bad, but when I have fragrances that smell the same but better, I'm not really going to pick it as much. So anyways, guys, that's been my review on it. It's very easy to wear, very easy to just grab, and it's very cheap. So I probably will be trying this again in the future. Look for it to be on my top Armov list. But anyways, guys, that's been my review of Armov Derby Clubhouse Gold. Let me know what your favorite Armov is. Let me know what fragrance I should review next. Let me know if you tried silver or gold. Let me know if you like Fierce, all that good stuff. I'd appreciate it so, so much. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I couldn't do it without any of your help. Thank you guys so, so much. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. Yeah?